news. Today we're having a look at the OBB1063 from RSSLO. Now, this is one of the most complex little beasties I've been involved with for a while. Doesn't look complex, does it? Uh, but let's go and turn it on. Okay, then. Um, I've got head tracking turned on. This might get a bit disturbing. Okay, first things first. We have to turn on the battery, which is down here. Okay, good. Now we need to insert the contact key and turn it, which is that one. So weird trying to look behind you. Come on, just turn it. Right. Okay, now we want to switch on the pantograph contact key, which is on... Just make sure I've got the right one. I think I know where that is. Let me just flip around and turn around there. Yeah, that's the one. Panto key. Okay, that's done now. And we want to raise the pantograph, but before we do that, we need to check the pressure. So what have we got down here? We don't have enough because we need... What? We need five bar. Okay, let's have a look down here. Somewhere down here, if I can get onto it, there's a switch. There's a switch. All right. We've turned on the helper compressor. Now, I've got to watch this thing come up. It's the right-hand one has to get over five. And it has. Good. All right. So, let's move spots again. It's making a lot of noise. We should be able to put the panto up now. Another train coming. Come on, panto. All right. Should have a panto going up. We do. Okay. And that's a lot of farm machines. All right, back in the cab. What's next? We've turned on the panto. We need to turn on the main switch. So that's behind me. Uh, can I actually get there a bit better? Or is it going to limit me now that I've got head trainer? It's limiting me. Of course it is. All right, so the main switch, which is picture one, number 10. So I've got all these pictures that I have to go through to try and work this out. Picture one, number 10. Okay, it's that one. It's on the other console. Uh, no, no, this one. All right. Zoom in, it's over here somewhere. Did it turn? Aha, that sounds promising. All right. Now we need to turn on uh, the pressure for the main switch to be 7.5 bar or more. Ooh, that was a bit low. Oh, let's just see what happens. Let's turn on the main compressor, which is down here somewhere. Uh, no. Compressor. We'll turn that to A. All right, that's doing something. How's our pressure now? Oh, rocketing up. All right. Now, we want to turn on the loco brake valve, which is... That one, I think. Yep. All right, we've done that one. Now, put the train brake lever activation to D. That's on this console. Uh, or is it? No, I think it's on the console over here. I don't see it. Uh, let me figure out where it is. So it's frame break lever activation, picture three, number three. All right. I thought I knew which one this was. Picture three, number three. All right. It's on the console with a radio. Is that that one? Or is that that one? Uh, it's that one. Brake lever activation. Okay. Now, I only want to move that one notch. Very important. Only one notch. Now, we want to turn on the CIFA air valve, which is down here. 
Now we want to turn that other one to the next notch. I, okay. All right, so that's done. Now we need to release the spring brake, which is this one. Come on, let me get on it. Let me do it. Okay, we've got that one. Now we go to the console that we want to drive. Um, we select the direction, that one. Okay, good. Now, uh, control, num, enter, and shift. Okay, C for on, PZB off. That's what I want. Okay. Now, what do we do? Release spring brake, we've done that. Set the direction of travel, we've done that. And see if I'm sure on main reservoir pressure, should have enough air to release the train brake. All right, so we want to put you to quick release. Good. And somewhere around here, there's another handle. We want to put you to release as well. So far, so good. Uh, what about some instrument lights? There we go. And no, no. What's the next thing I have to do? I release the train brake. We've done that. Train brake activation lever. We've done that. All the train brake levers to console. Loco brake valve must be on. All the other consoles need to turn on the headlights. Turn on the ventilation. Okay. Headlights were behind me. That's that one. And is that it? No, wrong. Let's try that one. Ah, uh, promising. Promising. Ah, no. Try another one. Let's try there. No. Ah. I'm sure it's got dots or something on it. Oh, it's so hard to see with the head tracker. This is giving me the shits. Okay, here we go. What's that give us? Lights! Right, good. Okay, now turn on the ventilation, which is on picture one, number 16. Ventilation. You get the impression this is a little bit involved. Number 16. Okay, so it's on... It should be on this panel. Number 16. Isn't that it? Ventilation. But did that turn it off or turn it on? Ah, German locomotives, who knows? Alright, here we go. And we've got our directions set, haven't we? No, I've gone backwards now. Alright, are we going to work? Are we going to work? No, we're not! Rail driver confused it again. Let's put it back in the mid position. There we go. Let's try and change directions again. Now let's just try and make it work. What? Oh, what? Oh, it's working! It's working! Alright. Alright. It is actually working. Good. Anything up there on the roof? Oh. We're moving! Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? What are we doing at that end? Maybe this end. We're accelerating away. Ah, we've stopped picking up speed. That's good. So it looks kind of cool. But man, it's a bit of a journey to get... Oh, the headlights are wrong again. Gah. Let's try that. There we go. Alright. Now, we've got a, uh, a brake list. Which is our list of carriages. Ah, what's that? Cifa. 
That's a noisy seafer. Is that the noisiest seafer ever or what? Tunnel. Well, I'm happy. I got it moving. Anyway. Do we need to see more than that? You see how hard it is to start it up. You'd get used to it, I reckon. I reckon you'd get used to it. And it's a bit refreshing to have a locomotive that you have to do so much stuff to actually make it move. Um, now, if you're a bit of a nuffy like I am in PZB with TSC, I can do it okay in TSW. I'm not good at it in TSC. I recommend you turn it off. I find that more useful. Must be time to accelerate some more. It's one of those um, weird throttles that you push it and it's it's like a plus. Every time you push it, it goes more. That noisy thing is Sifa. Just finding out if I'm awake. Hmm. It's got gauges everywhere. You can drive from any console. So you can drive from this one. And you can drive from the one over there. You can drive from that one. And you can drive from that one. So wherever you want. And it, it, well, it works okay. But anyway, that's it for a first look, I think. That probably about covers it. Oh, let's make it stop. I haven't done that. Oop. If I don't do fix that, it's going to stop by itself. All right. So I'm using the keyboard to do this because I have to say it hates rail driver's guts. All right. So that's our throttling. Let's put on some brakes. So our throttle's in the braking range at the moment. Train brakes are on. We are definitely slowing down. Let's give it some more brakes. Uh-oh. Too much. Right, we have stopped. There we go. Officially, ladies and gentlemen, we have stopped. All right, so that's our first look at the OBB 1063 by RSSLO. It's a bit interesting. It took me four or five goes before I could make it move, to be honest with you. And um, you got to follow the list from the Manuel. You really do. And all the controls are pretty well laid out and labelled. The one thing I do struggle with a lot, I had to change my graphics settings so I could actually see the brake levers, and I can still only just see them. So you may have to do the same thing because they're basically black levers on a black desk, which is, you know, clever. Clever. But anyway, it's all good. I think we're rolling backwards. I don't know, just imagining it. Anyway... That's it. That's the OBB 1063. If you want to see more of it, I will be streaming this thing. I always like how in train sim stuff moves, but in TSW it doesn't. You see that dump truck dumping gravel then? Anyway, all good. I'll stop whinging. Um, I'll be streaming this thing a little bit tomorrow. I'll be mostly concentrating on the 1016, which is on a, another route that I've got recently. And we'll be looking at that one. That's from RSS uh, LO as well. All right. See ya.